Hello, hello, I'm Jay, and you are watching DS Tech Media. And today we're going to be doing another DS Tech tutorial. As you may have noticed, I added the Watch Us Live on DLive, Twitch, and YouTube. That's because I just recently set up my very own RTMP server. And with that, uh, it will ingest my stream from either my Android smartphone or my Linux computer using OBS and restreams it to those three platforms. And we're going to be showing you how to do the same exact thing using Nginx and Flash RTMP module. So I'm actually going to be following this guide which is up on OBS project forum and I'll be putting a link in the description and this was originally posted by a user named Dodgepong thank you very much uh, the only difference uh, from his guide is I'm gonna be using version 1.16 it's uh, the latest stable version uh, we will be using this GitHub for the NGINX RTMP module and I will be doing the rest from my Android smartphone via SSH terminal. The only thing you will need is a Ubuntu server with SSH enabled and you should have FFmpeg installed as well if you want to follow my guide exactly. Alright here we go. Alright, so first thing is first, we're going to SSH into the server. And his first instructions I'm just going to include here. I'm sending uh, his instructions to my phone via push bullet, that's what this is. And build essential libpcre3 dev. They're all just some dependencies to make sure you have installed before we continue. You should also have FFmpeg installed if you need to re-encode for, say, Twitch. And this is the wget command for version 1.16 of Nginx from the nginx website exactly. I'm gonna be uh, copying it into my downloads folder on my server. And next we're going to copy the RTMP package from GitHub. And we're gonna be using tar to unzip the dot gz nginx package and then we'll be using zip to decompress the dev dot zip package and we're going to actually have to move the uh, rtmp module dev into the uh, the nginx folder And then we can CD into the folder. And now we can do the configure with HTTP SSL module, add module, and GINX RTMP mobile dev. And it should compile everything. After that's done, you are going to run the make command. And then you just need to do a sudo make install. In order to start it, you're going to have to do a sudo user local nginx sbin nginx to start the service. And 
then we should be able to go to 192.168.1. whatever your local IP address is with 8089 and you should get this message saying that Nginx is up and running. Okay, so I'm going to show you my working configuration and then I will show it to you in action. So you want to be editing nginx.conf. I made this one so that I'm not showing you my personal keys. And I uh, I used someone else's conf, which kind of let me take out a whole bunch of the extra stuff here. So starting at RTMP, this of course is specific to me, live on, record off, allow, publish all, anything with a hash is being commented out. And then I'm pushing localhost YouTube, localhost Twitch, and localhost DLive. This section here is uh, me re-encoding my stream with FFmpeg for uh, Twitch's specific requirements. And then we just have a section for each, so application YouTube, live on, record off, and then allow publish. And this of course is a loopback address, which makes it so that only this server can publish. And then push RTMP and then of course the information you get from YouTube and you repeat this for Twitch and DLive in my case uh, if you wanted to do Facebook they may have their own specific requirements so you would have to adjust as such that is my configuration okay and I am using Laric Screencaster to uh, broadcast. So here, as you can see, my phone is streaming live to the D Live. to Twitch and to YouTube or it will be there we go and I'm, uh, I'm doing this using the Larix screencaster And this is just a quick shot of Lyric's configuration on my phone. And that's all there is to it. Um, if you followed this guide, you should now be able to multi-stream to whatever platforms uh, you so choose. If you just tweak the instructions a little bit. Believe it or not, there are actually services out there that would charge quite a bit of money just to automate this process for you. I hope you found it helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any problems and questions, I'll be glad to reply in the comments section. I got more videos on the way, and I thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.